All right, I want to make a video here in response to Stephen Andersnake's newest propaganda film for the Vatican uh, coming out, this uh, Babylon USA thing, changing the crystal clear identity of Mystery Babylon, Revelation 17 and 18, away from the guilty Roman Catholic system, the Vatican, changing it from that to America is Babylon. Absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, Stephen Anderson is a whore for the Vatican. Uh, he teaches replacement theology, which is totally Roman Catholic. Teaches the whole post-trib thing, totally Roman Catholic. I mean, straight out of the cate straight out of the catechism. But uh, just going to go over just an overview here of what my videos are about, showing the truth that Rome, the Vatican, there is Mystery Babylon of Revelation 17 and 18. And the playlist, the link to it, will be down in the description box. Okay. First, you have the introduction, where I just kind of give the basic synopsis of what I'm going to be, you know, covering in these videos. Then part one of America is Not Babylon is about John Hagee recanting. Uh, I show a news article from the area where I used to be from down in Pennsylvania where John Hagee came out when, um, uh, oh, what was the guy, uh, McCain and Palin or whatever else, you know, they were running for uh, president and vice president, vice prostitute, whatever. And uh, John Hagee, uh, was you know came, got into the news because he was he got in trouble with the Catholics because of of saying that Rome is mystery Babylon and he well I'm sorry I didn't mean to offend anybody and things like this and I, I don't teach it anymore yeah because he's another whore for the Vatican uses their new versions but the second part America's not Babylon number two I talk about Oliver Cromwell how way back in uh, the 1600s the 17th century in other words he was uh, talking about how that um, Rome is Mystery Babylon. And he was dealing with them. He was fighting them on the battlefield. He was seeing the, the bloody, violent slaughters that the Catholics were doing, the torturing of Christians and things. And uh, thank God for Oliver Cromwell and all that he did. But uh, part three of the America's Not Babylon uh, discusses the two Babylons, the book The Two Babylons, showing ancient Babylonian mysti mystical religious practices being performed today by Roman Catholicism. It was written back in the 1800s uh, by Alexander Hislop. Uh, it's here somewhere, right there's my copy. Let's show you here real quickly. There you go. Okay, uh, go over some of the stuff in there. And the Catholics, of course, they try vehemently to deny that that's accurate and things, because it's exposing their system. Then I get into the thing of the 1582 Jesuit Reims New Testament, which I have right here, the Roman Catholic edition of it. Right there we go. Written by Jesuits in 1582. Their attempt to make an English translation of the scriptures. Failed miserably, of course, because God has never been for the Jesuits. But um, getting into who they say Mystery of Babylon is, I show the proof, show overhead screenshots of it, uh, the video of it. Part five, who are the citizens of Rome? According to Roman Catholicism, what makes you a citizen of Rome? Uh, number six, Stephen Anderson openly denies Jesuit control. Stephen Anderson was making some promotional videos back when he was first announcing this project for Babylon USA. And he was making some promotional videos and he openly comes out and says, the Jesuits, it's, you know, they're not in control, basically. I mean, you can watch the video. I have his video clip of his... Uh, preaching and um he just openly denies jesuits jesuits aren't in, in control of anything no the catholic church they're, they're not in control you know deny scripture um part number seven the jesuit power structure we get into the jesuit power structure how they do control things it's pretty amazing uh, part number eight the collars of mystery babylon again read revelation 17 our collars are purple and scarlet not red white and blue you know purple and scarlet. Crystal clear who it is. Number nine, Eon Paisley and the Jesuit Oath. Uh, there's a um, preacher over in uh, Ireland, I believe it is, Eon Paisley and uh, Presbyterian and things. I'm sure I'd have some areas I'd disagree with him on, but he, you know, was in the parliament at one point in time and Pope John Paul II came to, to preach there and Eon Paisley stood up and called him an antichrist. <laughs> so... And they drag, you know, they're dragging Eon Paisley out. You know, appreciate that. Really appreciate that. But he gets into the thing of the Jesuit oath. 
And again, to a lot of Stephen Anderson's followers, you'll say, well, Pastor Anderson speaks against the Catholic Church. He can't be a Catholic. Well, that's part of the Jesuit oath there. You might want to look at that, you know, actually listen to the sermon. It's not even me talking, okay? It's just Eon Paisley the whole way through the thing. You know, I know you can't handle me and stuff, but listen to somebody else there. But he gets into the thing of how the Jesuits actually swear an oath that they even will speak against the Catholic Church if the need arises and they need to deceive people. So don't tell me that uh, Stephen Anderson, well, he speaks against Catholicism. Uh, Anderson's never going to speak against his Jesuit masters. All right, He's never going to do that. And he is purely serving the Vatican with his propaganda film, uh, changing the identity of who Mystery Babylon is. And I'm going to say a little bit more on that at the end of this video. But next you have part 10, the harlot's attire. Very interesting about the very shape of Italy. Kind of an interesting thing. Uh, number 11, city or country. The, in my series here, America is not Babylon. You know, Revelation chapter 17 says that it's a city that reigns over the kings of the earth. Um, Vatican City. Okay. But America is somehow a city now, apparently, according to Stephen Anderson. And again, I talk about how he ducks that whole thing and whatever. Part number 12, a Jewish rabbi serving the Pope. I'll talk about the rabbi down in New York City that uh, was granted a papal knighthood because he's basically a servant of the Vatican now. And I did that one particularly, in particular, excuse me, because a lot of people try to say that the Jews are in control of the New World Order. It's a Jew world order and all this blasphemous, stupid nonsense. And I don't say blasphemous because they're God or something like that. I'm just saying, you know, God has plans for the nation of Israel. And people have no, you know, the replacement theology Catholics could care less about God's plans for Israel. But they'll say the Jews are in control of the New World Order. Well, if that's true, why would you get a top Jewish rabbi taking a knighthood from Catholicism? Wouldn't that be stepping down? <laughs> Number 13, uh, Pope Francis covers up for their bloody past. Uh, he did this thing. He spoke to um, Kenneth Copeland's Pentecostal, you know, papist organization. And he says about, you know, who was guilty of the past? Uh, you know, there was things on both sides. We don't really know for sure who, you know, was guilty of all the bloodshed and things. Tens of millions of Christians slaughtered by Roman Catholicism down through the centuries. And not just, you know, you're dead or you're with a sword or something. We're talking horrible tortures. And if you think that that ended back in the Dark Ages, you are quite foolish. Uh, the Catholics are still torturing people. They just have new ways of doing it. So you basically have, if you watch the whole playlist, it's over well over two and a half hours of documented proof showing sources that Andrew Snake's never going to show, showing things from Catholicism, from, I mean, other people and things like this, Eon Paisley, reading the Jesuit Oath, talking about the Jesuit Oath. You know, you want a documentary? This is one you need to watch. Okay, one that's going to tell you the truth about the identity of Mystery Babylon, not some stupid little propaganda film that's going to pave the way for the Antichrist. Again, I was recently watching a brother's uh, videos debunking Stephen Anderson's After the Tribulation. Uh, again, another ridiculous propaganda film of Stephen Anderson made by Paul Wittenberger. Paul Wittenberger, at the time he was working on After the Tribulation, he's working for Hollywood. That should make a little problem for you, but... But I was watching uh, Brother Joshua Alvarez. He was doing some videos debunking Stephen Anderson's After the Tribulation thing. And occasionally I'll have some extra time and I'll just watch one and stuff. You know, Joshua is a very bright young man and, and things. And I've met him in person and things. And a uh, uh, good friend of the ministry. And he brought up a point. Very good point, brother. I got I to gotta, you know, say it here. It's very, really a good thing. What's the point of Stephen Anderson's film, Babylon USA? Well... If you read Bible prophecy, there's no Western superpower. It's all the kings of the East. It's all Eastern powers and things. Russia, China, Iran, you know, North Korea, that, that area over there. America is not in Bible prophecy. All right? There's no great power in the West that's there in the end times. So what happens? Well, my theory on this whole thing is that when the rapture happens, most of the people raptured are going to be in America. There's a lot of Bible-believing Christians here. Praise the Lord for that. But the majority of the rapture is going to happen here, the aftermath of it. 
and the other countries, there'll be some saved people in all the different countries, and they're going to say, it's obvious who did this, it's America. And I think they're going to bomb the living daylights out of this country, hit the major cities, probably there'll be some people left in the countryside and whatever else, but I think the major cities are going to get flattened after the rapture, shortly after the rapture. I think they're just going to nuke the whole, all the big urban centers and things, you know. I really do believe that. And if you think God's going to protect these big wicked cities when the Christians are gone, uh, you got another thing coming, let me tell you. So, what's Anderson setting people up for? Well, he's going to be here, obviously. He's lost. So, him and his cult following, they'll be here on the earth when America's destroyed. And if they survive, that's a big if, if they survive, what's going to happen is they're going to say, look, America got wiped out. <gasps> Babylon has fallen. Babylon fell. It's no more. Revelation 18 has been fulfilled. Guess what? Revelation 19 is next. Hey, here's the rider on the white horse. It must be Jesus. You see? By switching the identity from Roman Catholicism, from the Vatican, to Jesus, or to, to America, excuse me, when America's wiped out and the Antichrist shows up, Anderson and all of his followers are going to go, Jesus is here. Mm -hmm. And he's already teaching them re replacement theology. He's already teaching, you know, to hate the Jews and things like this. Anderson's propaganda film, Marching to Zion, can be used to start persecuting Jews in the future. Just like Fox News, you know, back, way back when, 20th Century Fox, I shouldn't say Fox News, but 20th Century Fox, the Roman Catholic system that it's always been, was used to make the Nazi propaganda films that Hitler used to exterminate the Jews. Now you have Anderson making the film for today using, pic or using parts of Hitler's propaganda films. The Jew and their lies and things like this. I mean, I did videos on that. He actually uses parts of Nazi propaganda films in his Christian film against the Jews. You see how everything's playing out? You see how it's all working out? So if you're ignorant of this subject, if you say, I've never heard much about this and things, Watch the playlist, and you'll see proof positive that Roman Catholicism is Mystery Babylon. All right? So, check the playlist out. Again, description box. And uh, that's the real documentary on who Mystery Babylon is. Anderson's stupid little satanic propaganda film. Uh, just another little thing, you know, for the Vatican. So, uh, you know, I used to think that uh, there would be a chance for Stephen Anderson to get saved. Because it's obvious what he is. He's, he's a victim of childhood uh, um, conversion, and I believe mind control as well. I believe that he has been groomed for this position. I know a lot of people have you know, theorized that. I do believe he's under mind control. And, but I think it's, it's willing. Um, he has a willingness to be under it. Uh, he's not some hapless victim that wants out or something like that. I don't believe that. Um, if he wanted out, if you wanted out, Anderson, um, you can call upon the name of the Lord to be saved, come in true repentance. Um, uh, you need to admit to the fact that you're lost and that you're teaching some very wicked things. But I don't think he has the guts for it, honestly. I think he's totally sold out to the system. And uh, it's obvious he's got major, major pride issues and ego uh, problems. So that's going to be it. Please watch the videos.